This is Jared from Commit Quality, and in this video, I want to showcase my new test automation demo website, commitquality.com. I'll put a link in the description as well, so you can go directly to this page. It's been created with React, and I've been thinking for a while that it was a good time to create a website that I control to use in a bunch of my videos and future projects. There have been a few examples when in my previous videos there have been comments that the website is down or an issue has appeared that is out of my personal control which means you're kind of stuck with just watching the video and trying it somewhere else. What I do want to say is this website is open for anyone to use to practice testing or test automation and the site is just a basic site that covers the CRUD options, so create, read, update, and delete. So a little walkthrough then. Initially, if you're not logged in, you can see what I'm seeing right now. So you've got the navbar links up the top, so you've got product, add product, practice, learn, and login. Initially on the products page, you've got the ability to filter by product name. So if I say product two, hit filter, you can see that product two here is displayed. I can reset the filter so it shows. Uh, it shows 10 products in a list at one given time. However, you can click show more and see the rest. We have the add product button, which will do the same as what this nav link will do. So if you hit submit, you've got some uh, validation that appears. There's a bit more going on with it as well, so you can have a little play around. But if I just say commit quality, enter a price of 21 and a date, the date must be within 100 years and not in the future as well. If I hit submit on this, you can see that commit quality has been added. Now you might be thinking, but where's the update and the delete? And to do this, you have to log in. So if I go to the login page, and say username of test and test, which once again has some basic validation on it. If I hit login, now what you can see is we have the edit and delete buttons appear in here. So I'm able to go in and update this one to whatever, click update and you can see the name has changed. You can delete everything you want and you can see no products have been found. I can hit add product on this and re-add in whatever we want. If I said commit quality, 22 with a date and hit submit you can see now that that one has been added it's also worth pointing out that everything in the products list is locally stored as well so nothing goes out to a database so that means you can move around to the different pages and still see everything is the same but as soon as you refresh the page or reload the page you're going to see it, re it defaults back to its original list now also we've got while we logged in the my account page this is just a simple navbar link that stores some details you can open up the little accordion change this to whatever name you want so if i said bob hit save you've got an alert that pops up once you click ok you can see the details that we've saved have also changed the details at the top and of course you can log out which means you'll be taken back to the products page and you won't be able to see the update and delete functions now, I'm not planning on changing much of this page. There might be few tweaks I make, like I've been thinking when you delete all of them, do we need to show the filter box? Probably not. So I might make little changes like that. But the plan is to keep this as consistent as possible, not massive changes. So we're not going to be breaking things in the future for anyone who's looking at previous videos of mine. If I do make any changes, I'll be sure to post it on my Twitter page at commit quality. I'll put a link in the description for you to go to that and start following me on Twitter as well. But moving on then, the only other tabs we haven't been through yet, or the only other navbar links we haven't been through yet is the learn page. Now, if you click learn, you're just taken to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because that would help me out a lot. But also we have the practice page, which I put a little note on here to say this is likely to be updated. Things may be moved around and definitely going to be adding more components. So the whole point of this practice page was to be separate from that kind of products, the create read update functionality. But if I need to showcase a new feature of Playwright Cypress or any other kind of tool, what I can do is build my own component, add into here, and everyone can follow along. So I would really 
appreciate if you have any kind of suggestions for things i could add into the components or anything to add into the existing ones please drop a comment below because that will massively help me out uh if we just take the general component ones example you've got things like buttons radio buttons uh, select drop downs check boxes if you to check things you'll see that i just put out some paragraphs with so some basic things you can check off on here you can go back to the practice page and you've got a bunch of different things we have like api requests which go off to like the json placeholder and return us some information and that's it there are some bugs with it as well because maybe this would be a good trial for people as well to use to kind of catch out some errors however if you do find anything you think is completely out of the ordinary which might break things please let me know put a comment on this video or message me on twitter that would be absolutely amazing hopefully you can use this to guide you on your test automation journey as always thank you for watching and have a great day